Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sochinandan Dotto and in this lecture I will be talking about the fisheries management, the introduction to fisheries management. If we want to manage any natural resources like fisheries resources, then we have to make it sustainable. So what is sustainable or what is sustainability? Sustainability is concept that it has three pillars. It has three pillars that are the social, environmental and economic. So make any natural resources sustainable, we have to make the ecological viable, social bearable or economic equitable. So if you manage the thing in three point of view that ecological social and economic then you can manage the manage the resources as a sustainability so this is the definition of sustainability so our goal of this present lecture is to manage the fishery resources as a sustainable so at the end of the lecture we will see that how we can make the fishery resource as a sustainable so first we have the same diagram that we will see that we have the fishery resources and we have the different type of fishery resources like small fish to medium fish to large fish different type of stock and different types of species and we are also harvesting all the fishery resources through the different types of gear and different types of net and uh, boats and uh, they are also interrelated too so there is the biology they are interrelated to each other through the preparatory interacts and also in the tropic level they are also depend on the lower tropic level that the phytoplankton and zooplankton and the whole thing is impacted by the environment so he this is the complete snapshot of the concept that we have the social that the the fishermen are coming and fish harvest the fisheries and they have a huge profit from out of this so it's the economy of this total resources and also it has a huge environment or ecology that have uh, part of this whole system so this is the whole concept or complete snapshot of the whole uh, fisheries management so if we want to manage the thing if we want to manage any natural resources then we have to first we have to know that what are the resources are present available in this nature so what are the stock that is called the stock so what the concept of stock is that a population of a species of fish that is reproductively isolated in space and time so what does it mean that means that a stock is that a population of a species so what is species species is reproductively isolated so biological species concept we know the definition of species is the reproductively isolated any organism is called species and population is a group of number of uh, same species a group of same species is called population so a population of a species of a fish that are reproductive isolated many of same species same like a tuna is the only elephant tuna on it and it should be in a particular region a particular space and time so in a certain region certain time stock of this uh, availability of this particular species is called stock but if we are going to be facing impact if i'm going to be assessing the facing impact of that of that fishery resources then we have to we have to treat the stock separately so, so that each and every stock is to be separate so this is the tuna stock here and that there is a different tuna stock is there that the two stock is totally completely separate then comes to that that how we can make uh, how the nature make this uh, stock uh, equilibrium so stock equilibrium is the concept that stock has something uh, gaining from uh, the nature because the growth and recruitment so recruitment is uh, the addition to the stock so it is the birth rate it's giving the spawning after the spawning after the birth the, it's giving to the stock so it's the addition to the system and the growth the biomass is increasing so day by day fish is growing and fish weight is increasing the biomass is addition so it's giving to the positive to the stock and what is and that part that which is going out of the stock so that is the mortality that mortality is natural mortality natural mortality it could be a predation it could be a disease it could be any natural cause the fish is dying so that is going uh, deduction from this stock so it's a negative from the stock and the fishing removal that means the fishing mortality we are called it fishing mortality that 
that due to the harvesting due to the harvestation and due to the fishing we are taking those much uh, of uh, fish uh, from the stock so it's going out of the stock so growth and recruitment addition to the stock and reduction from the stock is the mortality that natural mortality and facing mortality but if this four parameter if this four parameter remain in the balance remain in the balance then the stock is equilibrium otherwise not if your growth is okay or um, a growth is positive but you are you are taking much more then the biological growth you are taking much more the facing removal or the much more uh, facing mortality so that is also an equilibrium condition of the stock or if recruitment is very good but the natural mortality is very high means due to the disease or due to the predation is very high so then the stock is not in equilibrium condition so that is the stock equilibrium now if we look at the year wise total catch is not increasing so as we have earlier seen in my pbs lecture that global uh, total uh, catch is almost 80 to 100 million metric ton per year so total catch is not increasing that much total catch is almost stable but we are increasing our effort day by day or increasing our effort day by day so that is not a good sign so we will check so what is uh, the thing so you are increasing effort but catch is not increasing means your catch for unit effort it is declining so what is fishing effort like let's see the fishing effort so increasing fishing effort it means that we are increasing the number of boats we are increasing the size of the boat so earlier that uh, small size boat now the he is a huge and big big size boat with mechanized uh, lots of tools that they have and they are increasing in technology so the fishermen in the boat they are using the gps to radar everything they are using lots of technology and increase the number of boats if we go to any harbor nowadays that we see lots of fishing boats are operating on this region so this is the increasing in effort so you are increasing effort but your catch is not increasing increasing that means decline in catch per unit effort and that is a pretty sign a pretty I mean, a bad sign that the stock can be easily declined so catch is not increasing but effort is increasing when CPU is declined that means your stock will be declined so now comes to the biology normal population growth curve so if in times the population is growing so time increasing population growing so it's a sigmoid separate curve logistic growth curve and here we can see that at a certain point population growing at time t and it's at a certain point it's reached to an equilibrium condition at that point is called the natural equilibrium or the carrying capacity so in in, in the growing phase uh, the population has uh, have three different phases one is at the initial time the growth is not that much that is the lag phase and after that certainly the growth is very high certainly growth is increasing very highly that is the log phase and before stabilizing and after that the uh, fishery growth uh, of this any population is going to be stable or stationary that is called the stationary phase or that reach uh, to the carrying capacity limit so that is the basic uh, growth or this basic biology of any uh, population now if we uh, plot this same thing in uh, in growth rate or in terms of population so your population is increasing your growth rate of this population is uh, also increasing but at a certain point when the population is increasing but growth rate would not be increased growth rate will be going down down and it reach to a point that point is called natural equilibrium or that point is also called the carrying capacity at that point your growth rate of that population is going to be same as the dead rate so there is a no growth so at that point growth is zero and population have is maximum uh, point it could be in a equilibrium condition that is called natural equilibrium and there is a true scenario I have plotted very simply so it's, it's just, just a simple example I have put a two scenario one scenario that you have we have different year of uh, catch a different year of fishing operation and before going to fishing the uh, population 
and after the uh, facing what we are harvesting this is one and after the harvesting what is the population is available so at the initially there was a 10000 ton but we are harvesting that is the fishing means we are harvesting almost 6000 ton so what will be remaining 4000 ton so if i we are harvesting uh, beyond the population growth beyond the population growth rate and that could be a very uh, bad sign and that could be the decline of the population and also the decline in your uh, total catch so uh, because that that much uh, we are harvesting a lot and that we are keeping uh, very low stock for the next year and that 4000 uh, uh, ton was available for the next year and due to the uh, natural growth rate and the recruitment it could be reached to 7000 ton and we are harvesting 5000 ton so we have uh, the fish is available to thousand ton so it's reducing so day by day or year by year uh, so it, it the stock will be deploying because we are harvesting more than the natural growth rate but on the other hand if we harvest uh, within the limit within uh, beyond not beyond the natural growth rate then the uh, stock will be increasing also and we we are also increasing our uh, harvest so here uh, 10000 ton we are harvesting uh, 10 4000 ton so remaining stock was in the natural population is 6000 that 6000 ton in second year with addition to biological growth rate and uh, uh, the recruitment it reached to the 11000 ton we are harvesting 4000 ton and the 7000 ton is uh, stock is remaining for the next year so it's it, it's a two scenario we will see that if we are not harvesting beyond the uh, growth threat it is uh, uh, increasing the stock and if i harvest beyond uh, beyond the biological growth rate that is a decline of the stock so so is that the same uh, diagram we are uh, plotting here in the concept is that uh, we, we don't uh, have to be harvest uh, beyond the biological growth rate if we harvest beyond the biological growth rate then your stock is easily declined if the population is very low here population is very high here so beyond the biological growth rate we harvest at that point so it's that additional uh, point of beyond the biological growth that is reduction from your total stock so next year you are going to be very less stock present in the system so that is the thing we have to consider that total allowable catch and total allowable catch and also maximum sustainability total allowable catch means that much we are allowed to catch huh? and this is the stock remaining for the next year so now this is this all about the uh, ecology so we have uh, think about the we have uh, learned about the biology that the growth rate and the total liable catch and the growth rate and the population stock and now comes to the economy so economy is we are increasing our fishing effort and also increasing fishing import that is also increasing the total cost that is a very good linear function if you increase your fishing import the cost will be automatically increased because you have to pay a lot for that much of additional cost additional effort but your revenue is not increasing always when it reach when your biological growth rate is at the highest level that the population is the highest in its number at that you may be harvest a lot and that is the point you are reaching and after that biological growth rate is going to decline so you are not getting lots of fish so your revenue is be going down okay so that is uh, the cost and revenue in terms of effort uh, if we plot and so what is the profit profit is that part so if this is the revenue and this is the cost so cost means revenue or cost minus revenue or revenue minus cost is your profit so profit is the that region and what is the maximum profit this line gives you the maximum profit and that is the target of an economist so economist point of view so they always economist always think about the maximum profit or profit maximization so their uh, their uh, uh, concern to make the profit is maximum so this line is called the maximum economic yield or economic equilibrium but the biological point of view we are think about the where we are reaching the highest growth rate highest growth rate gives you the highest population available in the system and in, in, in the natural resources is the highest in its number 
and that point is called maximum sustainable yield so that is also called biological economic so that is the biologist point of view and that point is called open access equilibrium when your total cost line and total revenue is reaching uh, at the same point means you are not getting any profit so your cost is equal to your revenue that is the total profit is zero so that is called open access equilibrium and that open access equilibrium is a very common for uh, the open access uh, fishery so open access fisheries that point is also called a tragedy of common what is tragedy of common so if the if this is the mag profit maximization profit maximization after that point the fishermen are think common common sense of a fisherman that if we go if we if we increase our effort if we go more uh, fishing for uh, we go more than uh, that fishing then if we increase our effort we are gaining much more profit much more profit but the in in, in reality they are not gaining much more profit and when they are reached to that point when there is cost is equal to revenue means that zero profit and that one is called the tragedy of commons so in an openness fishery the discount rate is very high so what is discount rate discount rate it means that uh, the number of boats is increase the area for the fishing is increase the days of fishing is increased so that in open access fishery basically always high discount rate means you are allowed to go fish whole the region you allow to go fish the whole the year of the um, whole the day of the year you are allowed to uh, all the fishermen are go allowed to fish so increasing uh, high in effort high in um, uh, number of days and high in uh, the uh, uh, that uh, that is uh, gives uh, the high discount rate and in open access fishery that high discount rate is increased and that always violating your fishing regulation I mean there is no regulation so if you have a boat if you have a net you can go for fishing nobody can stop you so that is the open access fisheries high discount rate but in a restricted fishery there is a low or low discount rate means you are not allowed to go for fishing all the days or 365 days in a year you are not allowed to go all the region of this fishing zone so there is a restriction zone and you and not allowed the, all the fishermen not allowed to go at the same time so that is a low discount rate it is always uh, good and it gives uh, less intense fishing pressure and in open access fishery you go for fishing means you entry for a fishing when you are seeing a profit I mean your profit is positive you are gaining profit then you can go for fish and when your profit is negative means your total cost is much more than any revenue then don't go for fishing okay leave fishing and in a steady state the open access equilibrium that is the steady state that your revenue is equal to cost means you are not profiting anything okay so now Now the question is arises that how willing are fishers to sacrifice their current fishery benefit in order to enjoy the higher benefit in the future? So how how the, the fishermen they are willing to sacrifice themselves now? So they are sacrificing not they are not going to each and every day fishing. Then all the fishermen are not going to at the same time, and they are not going to all the region for. So if they are sacrificing now for these so that can be make them much more profitable for a long run so they can make them much more profitable for long run because they are making the sustainable lity of the uh, they are making this uh, fishery resources as sustainable this is the fisherman point of view what government can do government point of view they can incorporate tax on your revenue because fishery is in open access fishery the fishery doesn't have any tax so if you have a boat and if you have a net you can go for fishing nobody can stop you you don't have to pay anything so but if the government incorporate tax on any revenue so then your cost will be increased so before tax this is your cost but after the incorporate tax on your revenue your cost is increased so what is the common sense of a fisherman that if i go for much more fishing if i go then i have to give a lot to the government for as a terms of tax so they are not going for much more so that tax incorporate in the system is all 
also reduce the fishing pressure and so we are almost reached to our uh, goal that was the how we can make our fishery resources as sustainable so there are the few things that uh, sustainability is also we have uh, discussed the economic point of view we also first we have discussed the biology and at the later we have to discuss also the social means how the fishermen also willing to go for fishing or not so there are the few points that we can make the fishing sustainability first point is the making the report restriction so effort restriction is the first point that you don't have give allow the all the fishermen to go for fishing so restriction in the size restriction in the number of boats that is the main thing you can make the stock sustainable then total allowable catch limit so restriction in the quantity of the fish that means this are allow this year 10000 ton of uh, tuna only allowed to catch okay you don't go beyond this 10000 ton so restriction in the quantity of the fish and the technical measure mean regulate how and where fisher can fish means how means which are technique they are using they are using gill net they are using the small mesh size or not they are using that can be regulated means uh, government not allowing the small mesh size government are not allowing the button trolling so that is the how and where means they are not allowed to fish all the region they have there is something uh, restricted zone that restriction zone uh, they can't go for fishing and incorporate tax on fishing incorporating tax on fishing that um, also reduce the fishing pressure but the question is that if the government uh, giving restriction on time means ban period or the timing restriction and also government restriction on the fishing zone you are not allowed to fish all the region but without restriction in the fishing effort okay so that is a very bad scenario that is a very bad condition that makes the fishing decline is very quickly means you are uh, you are allowing uh, 100 days for fishing but you are allowing all the 6000 boat uh, to go for fishing so 365 days allowing all the boats it's a not a that much of pesar equilibrium but if you are allowing the short period up but you are allowing the, all the fishermen go to the fishing that is a huge pesar for a short period of time and if you are zone restriction and you are not restricted on your uh, I mean fishing effort that is also cause a huge pressure on that certain region to all the fishermen are going and the harvest so that is also a very bad uh, thing so this is all about the uh, fisheries management i think you understand uh, so that's all about thank you